Hey, good morning, hope you're doing great. Ethan here, and I am the campus pastor at Bayside at Adventure. And during this season, we've been talking a lot about what it means to have supernatural strength for our natural battles. And one of the things that I've noticed personally, I don't know how it's been for you, but as we've gotten into this subject, I've been more and more aware about not just what God is doing in me, but what God wants to do through me, that there really is the struggle between what God wants to do in people's lives and what the enemy is doing to combat God's work. And so one of the things that I've noticed is just how difficult it is for me to be aware of other people. I don't know what it's like for you when you wake up in the morning, but very rarely am I thinking about all of my friends and family members and what I can do for them. I'm usually thinking about me and all of my problems, the stuff I've got to do, the checklist I've got to take care of that day, all the meetings I have to have and so on. And I bet it's similar for you. We all have a backpack full of stuff that we carry, just all kinds of things that kind of weigh us down and slow us down and occupy our minds and our hearts. But Paul writes something very interesting to Timothy when he's giving him exhortation, kind of as a spiritual dad. He writes to Timothy and he says this, he says, be instant in season and out of season. And he's really encouraging Timothy with this idea. Idea. There are going to be things that pop up that God wants to do through you that you weren't planning on that day. An interaction with a coworker, something your kids need, maybe your spouse, maybe a friend from uh, years ago calls you up out of the blue and they're having a crisis. And Paul's exhortation to us is that as we're becoming more and more mindful of what's happening supernaturally around us, he says, put this thinking on every day. God wants to do something through me, and I need to be ready to shift gears from my to-do list to God's to-do list whenever he wants me to. And so, in fact, I was walking over here to meet with our team and to film this, and I got stopped three times in the hallway. People have questions. Somebody needs prayer. This is the normal part of following Jesus, that his kingdom comes to other people through our willingness to just lay down our agenda and be obedient to God's voice. So here's my simple encouragement for you today. Number one, be expectant that God wants to do something through you in somebody else's life. Maybe it's as simple as praying for somebody or being responsive. And, and when the Holy Spirit prompts you, uh, say yes to that text message. Just check up on that person. Shoot them an email. Say, hey, you were on my mind. I, how are you doing today? If we're being obedient to that, we're going to see God do amazing things. So be expectant. And then the second thing is don't be surprised when it actually happens. Don't go, oh man, I'm busy. I've got all this stuff going on. Just jump in and go, God, I trust that if you're asking me to do this, you're going to give me supernatural strength to take care of all of my stuff as well when I lay that down for a moment and take care of your business. And I believe that if we're willing to do that as God's people, be instant in season and out of season, God's going to do amazing stuff through us. We're praying for you today. We love you. We'll see you guys next time.